everybody, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos that I put up every single week. So I have another homeschooling video for you guys. I've had quite a few of these lately because we are wrapping up our homeschool year and by the time you see this, I think it'll be our last week of school. So I made it. <laughs> but I wanted to share this new math curriculum with you guys that we started about mid-year of my youngest daughter's first grade school year. Um, if you don't know, we started her off with Matthew C, and we did that for a while, and then we kind of, we were still using it loosely, but I was adding in some other things, and we still use those other things, um, but I really wanted to find a different core for her math. I don't mind finding things to supplement. Matthew C just wasn't clicking with me, and I was just trying to find something else that was more all-encompassing and a little bit more fun for my daughter. She likes the blocks from Matthew C, but other than that, I think the lessons are very boring, and when I saw an ad for these books, I thought that is amazing and I had to have those. This is the Master Books Math Lessons for a Living Education. I actually have level one, which we are almost finished with. We are getting ready to start uh, lesson 29 and there are only and there's only 36 lessons in this book. So by the time you see this video, we will have finished level one and then we'll be moving into level two starting for second grade. So, and maybe even over the summer because the lessons are super short. Actually, that's probably a good idea. Maybe I should do that. <laughs> but I really like these because like it says, they are lessons for a living education. So they're story-based math lessons that follow the story of these two twins, Charlie and Charlotte. And in this book, the first book, they go to visit their grandparents and their grandparents are teaching them practical ways to use math in ways of gardening and farming and planting and counting and measuring. So all of these different aspects, you're rolling into these math concepts, and it really does make for a much more well-rounded education in general, and then also in math. You're not just teaching them to add, you're also showing them ways to apply that in everyday life. So like for lesson 19, when they were talking about counting by 10, the Charlie and Charlotte are talking to their grandmother about she's fixing dinner and she's cracking peas into a bowl, and they start talking about the life cycle of plants. And this actually has an activity which we have torn out because we were doing it, we already did it, um, but basically it adds the activity for sprouting your own plant from a bean and talks about the life cycle of the plant. So it's mixing in science with math and all these different concepts and it does that in every single lesson. There's always a story and some kind of a practical application. There's activities and crafts that your kids can do. We made a clock when we were studying time. So just all kinds of fun activities that really do make math fun. And they do that with stories and oral narration and copy work and manipulative based lessons. So you're getting all of your learning styles mixed in there with every single lesson. And each lesson has review of other concepts that were previously taught and then in addition to the new things. So you're just adding little bits and little concepts at a time to really make sure that your child is not forgetting what they learned and then not overwhelming them with all this new content. And the lessons are super short. Um, when we started this book, my, old, my youngest daughter was already, she already knew a lot of the beginning of the book, which is why it's still in there. Um, but we were trying to kind of catch up and I was trying to figure out exactly where she was. So even at this point, we usually do a couple pages a day, but a simple lesson, um, it's actually, it tells you they're all numbered. So it says exercise one, day 146. So you just have one brief page of work to do. So this is the new concept in this, for this chapter, which is subtraction. And then we're reviewing fractions, which they already talked about. We've got more subtraction problems here, and that's it for that day. So there are five exercises for each lesson. Um, so for five days of the week before you move on to a new lesson, but they're still adding the review in there from previous lessons. So it's just a really full body, cross-curriculum living education that is also a living math education and I think it's a great great resource for anybody that is trying to find a gentle math curriculum that is really really engaging for kids I think this is perfect the really great thing about master books math is they are super affordable at less than thirty dollars per book really great value it's a really great program and I highly encourage it to anybody who has either a child that may be a little bit of a reluctant learner maybe a little bit maybe math is not their favorite or their best subject or maybe for you as the teacher if you're a little bit intimidated of how to teach math without overwhelming your child this is perfect for you as well I'll have a link for the website in the description box below if you want to check out more information. Masterbooks actually has more uh, curriculum besides just math. Um, this is just what I actually had picked out because it was so interesting to me. So 
definitely check out their website. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.